Hello, it's Evgeny and this is exercise about a family income benefit. In the first part of the question, we are asked to describe the annuity with the following present value running variable y. For that, let me draw the timeline. And let's start with the second part, which says that if a life aged x survives to time n, then there won't be any payments made. But if a life aged x dies within period of n, then the annuity will be paid continuously at rate 1 per year for another n minus t x years. It means right here that is the annuity will be paid uh, will be guaranteed to be paid until time n right after the death of x. So it means that if policyholder dies somewhere at the beginning of a term then the annuity will be paid continuously for a longer period of time rather than when he dies somewhere closer to the end of this term. We can also see that more formally. For that, let us first recall that annuity is certain payable for n years continuously. It's an integral from 0 to n vt dt. On the other hand, the whole life annuity paid continuously can also be written as an integral from 0 to tx vt dt, where tx is a random variable, so we can write it as integral from 0 to infinity vt times indicator that tx is larger than t dt. In our question, annuity is paid continuously for a period of n minus tx years, which also can be written as an integral from 0 to n minus tx vt dt. We also have here a discount factor vtx, which we could move under the integral. So it's going to be integral from, to, from 0 to n minus tx v to the power t plus tx dt. Now, if we make a change of variables to s equals t plus tx, we'll obtain integral of vs ds, but now its integral is going to be from tx to n. So indeed, we can see that this annuity is going to be paid for the period right after the death of policyholder tx up to time n. We can also write down this integral as an integral from 0 to n vs times the indicator that tx is less than s ds. In the part b of the question, we need to show that the expected present value of annuity from a can be written as a difference between annuity certain paid continuously and term continuous annuity. For that, let me first recall that the term continuous annuity is annuity paid continuously for, for the period of n or the death event of a policyholder tx, whatever happens first. So it can also be written as an integral from 0 to mean of n tx vt dt. And we could also write it with using indicator function as an integral from 0 to n. So for the, for the term of the annuity, vt times indicator tx larger than t dt. Given that the expected value of indicator of tx less than t is nothing but the probability of this event which corresponds to the which nothing but the survival probability we can obtain that the expected present value of term continuous annuity is an integral from 0 to n vt pxt dt and this is because if we take the expectation of our integral here, then we can interchange, in this case, the integration and expectation. And this corresponds to the formula 5.17 in the book. 
Given that the annuity from part A of the question can also be written as an indicator using the indicator function, we can apply the same indicator variable approach to obtain that the expected present value of annuity y is actually an integral from 0 to n vt, but in this case qx t dt. If we rewrite this integral in terms of survival probabilities, then we obtain integral of vt times 1 minus pxt dt, and that's nothing but the, we can write it as two integrals, one is vt dt minus integral from 0 to n vt pxt dt. And here we can already see that the first term corresponds to annuity certain paid continuously, which is formula right here. And the second term is a term continuous annuity that we have just derived here. In part C of the question, we have to explain the answer in B by general reasoning. And the reasoning is as follows. The first term that corresponds to annuity certain values benefits payable continuously for a certain period of n years. And the second term values benefits payable continuously also for the same period of n years, but provided that the policyholder aged x is alive. Therefore, the difference between these two terms must value the benefits that are paid continuously for n years provided that the policyholder aged X is not alive. 